Hey guys, it's Jamie, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about what you need for a new puppy. So first off, I'm just going to start out with some different types of bowls. So here I just have a bowl for dry food, a water bowl, and then two different bowls for my dogs for wet food. Your water bowl should definitely be larger than your food bowl. Another thing you're going to need for your puppy is some dry food. Here I just have some of my dog's dry food, but obviously you're going to want to get dry food specially made for Next puppies. up is toys, which could be fairly obvious, but it is extremely important for teething puppies to have lots of toys. So I just have a few different type of throwing toys and a bone, a rope toy, and a stuffed animal, but obviously for puppies you're going to want more teething toys rather than all of these. And over here I just have some different types of leashes and collars as well as some choke chains. Now the thing is with choke chains is I have heard a lot of different stories about um, people choking dogs that had choke chains on. So I think if you were going to lean towards one of these then maybe you should go with something that will choke your dog as you're walking it but it kind of has a limit so you cannot actually strangle your dog whilst you're walking. Your dog's collar should also have an identification tag on it. Poop bags are also something that you should take along while you're on a walk because if your dog does go to the washroom, you're going to need to pick it up depending on what area you're in, but I think it's just polite just to pick it up anyways. Depending on if your puppy is going to be a short-haired puppy or a long-haired one, you should have a coat if you're in a cold climate and they do not have very much hair. Just have a carrier, which is optional depending on the size of your dog. If you have a small dog that you didn't want loose in your car, then you might want to get a carrier for Over here, I just have some different types of wet food and some bag and mini treats. So this is what I feed my dogs here is pedigree, meaty loaf with real beef and with real chicken. Um, someone gave us these types of dog food, but we just had them laying around, so I thought I might as well show them. And bag and minis is what I've been feeding my dogs right now, and they're really good for training treats because they're fairly small. Something else that is extremely important for when you get your puppy, depending on the length of hair that your puppy will have, you will need some different types of brushes. So here I just have a bristle brush. Um, it has just two different kinds of brushes on each side, so it's kind of like two brushes in one. Then I just have this rubber brush that kind of picks up loose hair a toothbrush to brush your dog's teeth, a comb, another bristle brush, and a flea brush. Something you will be using a lot of is disinfectant and cleaning supplies. So here I just have a homemade disinfectant with just, just vinegar and water solution. And here I just have a multi-surface cleaner, which is Mr. Clean. Going along with grooming, you will need some nail trimmers as well as some septic powder or quick stop. The great thing about these nail trimmers is they have a lock on them so they're not just open all the time. They also have a guard on them so you can't actually take too much of your dog's nail off if you are scared to cut your dog's nails. Another thing you will need for your puppy is shampoo. Uh, deodorizing spray, some people like to use detangler as well. Um, here I just have two different types of shampoo, but these are shampoo for dogs. You will want to be getting the puppy shampoo. You should also make sure that it is tearless in case you get it in your dog's eyes. Something that is optional but I did find helpful when I was training my dogs was pet corrector. In case your dog was to start barking or being uncontrollable, if you spray this your dog will pretty much stop doing anything that it's doing. Two things that I thought I would mention that I currently don't have with me right now is one, a pet bed. Obviously, your dog's going to need something to sleep on, as well as puppy training pads, because your dog will have accidents in the house no matter how hard you try. So thanks for watching, and please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Leave a comment on what video you'd like me to do next, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. <laughs>